All right, so we're going to do some S-band synthetic aperture radar imaging today with an ultra-wideband uh, S-band radar. Uh, out here, you can see the uh, calibration rod. We're going to assume that's a point target, and we'll use it to calibrate this ultra-wideband system. And we'll start over here. This is the... Uh, receive antenna at the left and the identical one on the right is the transmit antenna. This is the receive front end. Placed up front so as to preserve the front end noise figure. It's the transmit cable that goes to the transmit antenna. Uh, looking at this rack here we have um, starting from the bottom we have ultra wideband uh, YIG oscillator. Above that is a power splitter uh, at S-band. And above that is uh, the, beat, the beat frequency oscillator set to 10.71 megahertz. Then we have the power supply and radar control, another power supply, the, the intermediate frequency chassis, and then finally the attenuator chassis. This is the transmit front end, and of course you can see all the cabling and everything. There's the data acquisition computer with the National Instruments card on board. And uh, here's our range profile display at the moment. We can see the pole is <laughs> right there, a very strong signal. So what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll use that as the uh, calibration target and uh, we'll take 1024 range profiles, integrate them together uh, for the calibration and we'll remove the pole and do a background and so you can coherently subtract the background from the pole itself. All right, so now with the Cal target removed, we'll acquire another uh, 1,024 range profiles of just the background and this um, styrofoam uh, stand. Okay, the next step is we're going to slew this uh, radar front end back over to the left. And off it goes. We'll get it ready and uh, we'll do a uh, background scan as soon as that's uh, over to the left there. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is acquire a background uh, image of just the styrofoam target stand out there and all the other clutter uh, in the yard here. So here we go with a background image. What it's going to do is it'll move every two inches down the rail and acquire 10 range profiles. Coherently integrate those then save them to file. And off we go. Standing out of the way of the back lobe of the antenna here. You can see. Grabs data, moves, pulls data, moves. And how this operates is there's a stepper motor right there which is connected to a gear, uh, planetary gear drive that goes to this uh, elite screw inside this aluminum extrusion which is actually part of a Genie garage door opener system. Provides more than enough precision for these sorts of uh, radar imaging sensors. So now I've placed two uh, metal cylinders, copper cylinders actually, down range at different ranges uh, and cross ranges and we will acquire a SAR image of these uh, two targets. So again, uh, every two inches in, and we'll integrate ten times uh, because things are blowing around the wind and whatnot. So we want to average that out as best we can. So we'll start right now. We'll get out of the way of the intense back lobe. moving and acquiring data, move, acquire, move, acquire. Okay, so I've loaded the, uh, the data into the MATLAB script and we'll hit play. And we should see uh, the radar targets. So here are the two cylinder targets, exactly as we would expect them. Uh, both uh, distinct in range and cross range.
Next up we have a group of small microwave cables in a little box uh, configuration. Uh, these are the cables themselves so uh, you know they're about six or so inches long and they will make for a nice group of uh, point targets. So we'll begin uh, acquiring data again every two inches integrating ten times in case the wind blows and we'll process the data. Okay, so now we've got uh, the cylinders data loaded into the MATLAB script. So what I'll do is I'll uh, play that. And here we are. You can see that the cylinder in the lower, rather, sorry, the point target in the lower left is the most strongest one because it's probably at the right angle to the radar. Uh, so it's a little bit brighter. And the others are clearly visible. So I count five. I count one, two, three, four, five. Again, uh, with a screwdriver to point uh, at. I count one, two, three, oops, one, two, three, four, five. All targets are there as we expect. So that is an S-band uh, Railstar system imaging a small target scene.